Hello there, everybody. This is Mel Allen. Let's take a look at who's been earning the applause around the major leagues this week. In Boston, Jim Rice, whose power has sent the Red Sox rocketing upwards. In Pittsburgh, the base dealers. In Montreal, the Expos, getting down to serious contention. In Oakland, it's the continuing story of the fantastic A's. In New York, it's the smiling face of Billy the Kid. And wherever you look, it's the tough life of the Major League umpire. All this and more coming up next on This Week in Baseball. I get headaches a lot. Some weeks it's like I get one every day. It was so frustrating. I used to take anything in reach. I knew some medicines caused stomach problems, but my stomach felt fine. And then I found out, even if you don't feel it, aspirin can be damaging to your stomach. So maybe there's some problems going on that you don't even feel. I'm not okay with that. The pure pain relief of Tylenol works fast on your headaches and is safer on your stomach. John and Tom are regular guys. They do the usual things, the usual way, at the usual places. One day, John was down at the credit union when he decided to go unusual. Tom also did something he'd never done before. The usual? No, I'll have one of those. Good on you, Tom. Don't make it the usual. Make it Mike's Hard Cranberry Lemonade. Hardly the usual. Genes make all the difference. Introducing Genworth Financial, built on GE Heritage, now creating our own legacy. He needs this for the win. He got it. Fantastic. We'll be right back after these important messages. Have you got a passion for sports? Then you're going to love this special offer from Sports Illustrated. The sports authority fans rely on for exclusive insights and insider information you won't find anywhere else. Now you can take home one full year of SI and save over 50% off the cover price. That's 56 issues for the knockout price of only $159 per issue. Call or order online now. And for a limited time, are you ready for this? Sports Illustrated will give you a free DVD player. How cool is that? Order SI for over 50% off and you get a free SI DVD player, but you must call now. And when you call, SI will give you a free DVD of your choice. Choose either Bull Durham or Remember the Titans. SI at over 50% off the cover price. A free DVD player plus a free DVD. So what are you waiting for? Pick up the phone and call. It may be no laughing matter to other teams in the American League, but Billy Martin and his New York Yankees have been looking loose. Maybe that's because the Yanks have started to cut loose with enough defensive polish to make any diamond glitter. No doubt about it, the world champs are strong everywhere especially on the mound, which is the concern of this man, Thurman Munson. We are strong. You know, we've got a super amount of pitching talent. Uh, I think the question is going to be whether the, uh, whether the starters are going to be ready early this year or like last year, have to wait till August. <clears throat> we've got some guys with some arm trouble, and sometimes after spring training, you go up in the cold weather and your arms get a little bit, you know, uh, stiff. And uh, we've got four or five guys who, you know, we're just going to have to wait to see how it goes. And, of course, when you got Gossett, Gossett, and Lyle, you don't have to worry too much. <laughs> For over a year, the Yankees have worried about Catfish Hunter, but those worries could be almost over. The Catfish looked strong when he beat the Royals for his first victory since August of last year. That would be a big plus for Billy Martin, who can draw a pair of aces from his bullpen that no one dares bet against. Sparky Lyle, 
Last year's Cy Young Award winner has picked up right where he left off, winning two games, saving four more in his first 17 innings. Lyle nails down Yankee victories. So does his new bullpen buddy, Rich Gossage, known as the Goose. He's been cooking up a row of goose eggs on the scoreboard with a fastball that steams in at 99 miles per hour. The Yankees really began to roll when they slowed down the Kansas City Royals in their first confrontation since the two teams clashed for a pennant last year. Greg Nettles is famed for cold Aprils, but May has arrived and Nettles is heating up. Deep to right, it's going, going, and it is gone. An eighth inning blast that completed a Yankee three-game sweep over the Royals. The Yankees are back to swinging the bats in Bronx bomber tradition. Chris Chambliss hadn't hit a homer in his first 24 games. But in the 12th inning against Texas, score tied, Chambliss unloads. He's done it before, so have the Yankees. But everything's starting to fall into place. The question is, who can stop the world champions from doing it all again this year? In Boston, they believe they can answer that question. Fenway fans have no doubts about their Red Sox. Their manager is confident, too. Uh, I think we have an outstanding ball club uh, with a healthy Fred Lynn and a healthy Dwight Evans. And I know we're going to pitch 100% better this year than we did last year. And uh, I, I know we're going to have a great year. I'm not a guy to predict uh, Eastern Division championships, but I know we're a hell of a ball club and we're going to be tough to beat. Last summer, Fred Lynn played on a bad ankle. Now he's healthy. Bad news for the Yankees, because Lynn can really drive the runs home. Don Zimmer said the Sox would be tough to beat, and so far, they've been almost impossible to beat at Fenway Park. Last year's American League home run champion, Jim Rice, is ahead of the pack this year in both home runs and RBI. But they're used to cheering the long ball at Fenway. Sox sluggers led the majors and homers last year. But lately, the crowd's been cheering everybody, like new second baseman Jerry Remy. Of course, great veteran Carl Yastrzemski has been applauded for almost two decades. But all that noise is still music to his ears. I've always enjoyed the Boston fans. Uh, the one thing you have to say about them, <clears throat> they love baseball. They know baseball. They support baseball. They're just great people. And Fenway fans know great pitching when they see it. Rookie Jim Wright showed them some with a shutout in his first Major League start. For another pitcher, the fans took a special initiative to show their appreciation. Mike Torres, former Yankee, had a shutout going with two outs in the ninth against Chicago. Bobby Bonds had to wait while the fans let out a long standing ovation. No pitcher could disappoint the crowd after that. Strike three. The game's over. But if Red Sox pitching continues like this, the season may not be over in Fenway Park until sometime in October. Out west in Oakland, they know they're nowhere near October yet, but the young A's continue to be simply amazing. Since most people figured the A's to finish last, Many now figure them to be playing over their heads. Could be. But whoever figured these young pitchers would be the best in baseball so far? Their statistics have been incredible. They've shown American League hitters more than an eyeful. Manager Bobby Winkles talks about his surprising staff. Well, it's a young pitching staff with a group of good arms, and uh, so far they haven't walked themselves out of any ball games. And 
When you can do that, I think you have a lot better chance than, say, going out there with a guy that just throws a sinker or has a trick pitch. And so I feel that uh, the young pitching staff, uh, they started out strong. And, you know, nobody can expect a team to go through the season with a 1.25 ERA. <laughs> Not a, I don't know who could expect that, but uh, we're very happy with them, and we think they're strong young men, and I think that's the basis of becoming good pitching staff. The consensus opinion is possibly correct. Sooner or later, Oakland's flying A's may tumble. But who can say? Who could have said that Gary Alexander would have five game-winning home runs? Probably not even Charlie Open. Ooh, look. Dear Prilosec OTC guys, what's so different about Prilosec OTC? Sign the frequent heartburn guy next to you. Whoa, big difference. Look here. It's the only OTC that directly shuts down lots of those acid-producing pumps in your stomach. That's why it's the only OTC that can work for 24 hours with one pill a day. Awesome. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. Sports Century, Mia Hamm, coming August 23rd. Through the ages, they prepare to win the gold. Now, ESPN Classic presents Countdown to Athens. We're your destination to relive the greatest summer games. The athletes who made history and their inspiring stories. ESPN Classic presents Countdown to Athens, 7 p.m. every weeknight, leading right up to the games, only on ESPN Classic. What happens when the best minds in television don't have a clue? Them Jim McKay. That Jim McKay or Sherlock Holmes? Ice Age, Road Rage, and Women Behind Wheels. Cheap Seats, 10 Eastern Thursday on ESPN Classic. Wow, what a finish. In the National League, Pittsburgh's powerful Pirates have been famed for rattling their bats. But nowadays, manager Chuck Tanner rattles opposing managers with something else. Base stealing. Everybody run. Willie Stargell can't outrun the ball, but watch this slide. Veteran Bill Robinson is certainly no Olympic sprinter. But watch him ease on down the road. Base stealing can be an art form, but Dodger catcher Steve Yeager and his pitcher Tommy John sure didn't appreciate the Pirates' talent. The Bucks swiped eight bases in one game. Frank Tavera sails into third like the winged victory. With lumber at the plate and lightning on the bases, the Pirates can beat you more ways than one. Pirate Omar Moreno leads the majors in steals, which is only natural in the steel city. But they've still got a lot of lumber there. Dave Parker won't let anyone forget that there's nothing like a good line drive to send everyone scampering home with something more than just an artistic victory. Bonjour, Montreal. Come on, Savard. 
Très bien, Messi. Say the Expos were off and running in the National League East. With talented youngsters like Andre Dawson, the Expos are keeping pace with the Phillies at the top. Manager Dick Williams is always serious about winning. And he has some proven veterans to help him out, like Dave Cash. He's played on winners before. So has Tony Perez, who's shooting for his 12th straight year of 90 or more RBI. This team has some real balance. The veterans provide leadership, while youngsters like Gary Carter offered exuberance. You can say, oh, revive to that one. Of course, there's nothing like a grand slam to brighten up the spirits of any team, young or old. In the past, Montreal's biggest problem was pitching. But free agent Ross Grimsley has helped solve that. He's one big reason why Dick Williams' team could be for real this year. Grimsley became the first pitcher in the league to win five games. Now, if the Expos win a baseball championship, we'll all have to brush up a little bit on our French. Miss it by? The San Francisco Giants are another early season surprise, winning games by playing them tight to the best. To do that, you need talented pitchers. And the Giants have a bundle, like this young left-hander, Bob Nepper. The Cubs lost two straight two-to-one cliffhangers to the Giants. And when they're that tight, every play counts. Joe Altabelli has a team that could shock a lot of people. Vita Blue shocked the Cubs by winning his fourth straight game. How about that, son? Through the first five innings, Mr. Blue had Cub fans wondering if they were going to see a no-hitter. But this base hit took care of that idea. Old stretch, Willie McCovey gives leadership and confidence to Vita Blue and the Young Giants. They know he's been through more than one pennant race. Big Mac knows what it takes, and one thing is a little luck. There's a nice present. Bullpen ace Gary LaBelle to wrap it up. The San Francisco Giants just might hang in there till the bottom of the ninth. Red Stripe, it's beer. Now, if your friend's been drinking too much to drive, take his car keys. Give me your keys. No. If he won't give you his keys, take his pants. May I have your pants, please? Okay. Hooray responsibility. Hooray responsibility. That's not tough enough to stop athlete's foot. Hit that with boom. Tough acting to acting. To acting's the only one proven to prevent athlete's foot. Lamisil can't say that. Get boom. Tough acting to acting. Fight ravaging rain, scorching sun, and wind with Thompson's Water Seal Advanced. Its special technology penetrates deep, forming a barrier to seal out 99% of the water right from the start. Thompson's Water Seal Advanced, the most powerful water protection guaranteed.
Suarez, I have some good news. I'm taking you out. I thought you said you had good news. I do. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Give me the ball. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Discover the hitting secrets of America's finest baseball school in a professional instructional videotape. Teaching the mechanics of the major league yeah. swing Position features professional scout and instructor Tommy Mansky and the same award-winning tested under fire techniques that have produced baseball world's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU national championship teams. Coach Mansky's study and analysis of thousands of baseball's best professional swings has yielded a no less than revolutionary approach to consistent hitting. It's proven, and you'll love its easy to understand step-by-step -step video training methods. Teaching the mechanics of the Major League Swing benefits players of all ages and ability levels. A valuable addition to any coach's library, too, and it makes a great gift. Thousands have been sold at $39.95, but if you'll call now and use your credit card, you'll pay only $29.95. To order, call toll-free 1-800-754-0077. That's 1-800-754-0077. This is the video that gets results. Join us all summer long for ESPN 25. This week on the headlines, we'll flash back to the 98 home run race with Sosa chasing Maguire, chasing Maris. The headlines followed by Who's Number One every Tuesday night, 7 Eastern on ESPN. It's a special tribute to the man who tamed the Bronx Zoo, the Captain Thurman Munson. 25 years after his tragic death, ESPN Classic remembers the clutch performer who led the Yankees to back-to-back -to -back world titles. It's eight hours of pinstripes, championships, and the unquestioned leader of the 70s Bronx Bombers. The Thurman Munson Tribute begins at 4 p.m. Monday, only on ESPN Classic. It'll be a classic Saturday night. At 7, Mario Lemieux and Yarmir Yager lead the Pittsburgh Penguins to their second straight Stanley Cup in 92. And at 10, Shaq and Kobe lead L.A. over Orlando in 98. Tomorrow on ESPN Classic. Now let's take a break from the action and look in on the guys that deserve a break. Big League umpires. They're not the stars on the diamond, but they have been known to steal a scene. What's this umpire steal into the scene at second base? Thanks, pal. Now can we move on? Sometimes big league coaches like to move in on the umpires. Here's one who's saying something that best not be translated. While disagreeing with the umpire's verdict, deep down he knows it'll do no good. Umpires have learned to face these tough characters and often feel tougher themselves when they stick together. Talking about tough characters, the mad Hungarian, Al Roboski. The Kansas City relief pitcher is doing his thing, the sight. Reggie Jackson waits patiently. But the umpire says we've waited long enough and calls a ball. If the Hungarian wasn't mad to begin with, he's sure mad now. He knows he's allowed only 20 seconds in which to throw the ball, but where's the evidence? Right there on the stopwatch. Umpires watch everything, almost. Watch this, Lenny Randall batting. Tug McGraw pitching. Here's the first pitch. Strike one, nothing and one. Ball one, one and one. Ball two, two balls and a strike. Strike two, two balls, two strikes, the count. Ball three, a full count. Ball four, but no one says a word. Not Randall, certainly not McGraw. The count is four balls and two strikes. Who says a walk's as good as a hit? Scored an error on the umpire and a triple for Lenny Randall. Sometimes umpires want to kick themselves, and this one does. Seems he had trouble making up his mind. Safe or out? It's no easy job. 
At all times, the umpire must stand right there and take it. And he's the man that's always exposed. It happens in the National League and in the American League. What other profession is likely to give you a facelift before the age of 35? But umpires never complain. Maybe that's because everyone's at their mercy. Is it fair or is it foul? Here comes the judge, and the case is closed. Now, let's judge some defensive efforts that don't need the umpire's help. First, from the New York Yankees. Second baseman, Willie Randolph, campaigning early for all-star votes. Now, a center fielder who missed most of last season, Cleveland's Rick Manning, after another gold glove. Rookie many think is the fastest man in the majors, Kansas City's Willie Wilson. More speed in the outfield, this time from the White Sox, Chet Lemon. Lemonade for the pitcher. Finally, some play for the Angels. Shortstop Dave Chalk, simply divine. Second baseman Bobby Gritch, twisting and turning. In center field, don't knock Lyman Bostock. Now to baseball history. Pete Rose with 2,999 career hits and his fans just waiting for the big one. And there it is, number 3,000. Pete Rose becomes the 13th player in baseball to reach that honored figure. What could have suited the occasion better than for Pete to have Tony Perez, former teammate and close friend, right there by his side? An emotional moment for everyone. Well, I feel like fair when I move on up in the list. You know, one more hit and I'm moving notch up. Eight more hits, I'm moving notch up. But. Uh, a lot of great players up there. I'm just happy to have my name mentioned. At least it wasn't the same a bleeder. Breath. But Cardinals Lou Brock could join Pete before long. He needs fewer than 150 hits to reach 3,000. And Boston's Carl Yastrzemski has a good chance for 3,000 too. Long ago, Ted Williams forecast great things for a then young Carl Yastrzemski. And now he's doing the same for this man, Jim Rice. The great thing about Rice is that he has such good power hitting at any place that if he hits it solid, something's going to happen big. And he's a, an intelligent guy that is really striving to get everything he can out of this game. I mean, you, you can only say good things about Rice. The Gillette Company honors Jim Rice with this week's Gillette Special. In nine games, the Boston Slugger hit 556, collecting 20 hits, including five homers, 17 RBIs, and lifting his batting average to 379 for the year. He even had to overcome a Kansas City shift, featuring four outfielders. Jim Rice of the Boston Red Sox. Well, that's all for now, folks. Join us next week on This Week in Baseball.